Hey everyone, it's me Jason, and today I want to talk to you about sunglasses. Um, not not these cheap two dollar sunglasses that I got at a gas station, but the Meta Ray Ban uh, sunglasses, sort of the AI powered sunglasses that Meta combined with Ray Ban they just released. Um, and you should not buy them under any circumstances. And if you're wearing them, take them off right now, right now. No, I'm kidding. You can keep them on if you want to. I don't care. Um, but you shouldn't buy them if you haven't. If you're thinking about buying, you should not buy them. And I'm gonna give you three reasons why you shouldn't buy them, even though they're they look really really cool and like the use case here is kind of amazing. And it's like I want these sunglasses, but don't resist the temptation. Okay. So the first reason, reason number one, uh, a group of students from Harvard, Zuck. These are, this is your alma mater, man. I don't know what's going on. A couple of students from Harvard basically created this app that kind of doxes people <laughs> that you see in your Meta Ray Ban sunglasses in here. Let's watch uh, the video real quick and I'll show you what I mean. Oh, hi, ma'am. Wait, are, are you a uh, Betsy? Yes. Oh, okay. I think I, uh, I think I met you through like the Cambridge Community Foundation, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's great to meet you. I'm Kane. Oh, wait. Uh, do you happen to be a person working on like like minority stuff for like Muslims in India at all or something? Hey, yes. Really? Yeah, Are you Kashif? Yes. Oh, I've read your work before. It's super hey, cool. So what it does is it basically it, it, it takes a picture of someone and then it scours the internet for a whole bunch of other pictures of that person to find out who that person is. Uh, it also goes through like voter registration forms. It goes through like a whole bunch of other stuff, stuff that you've written online to create a profile of you and it has all this information and that is absolutely, absolutely terrifying. Like I can't imagine what would happen if this were put in the hands of let's say a huge conglomerate, like a social media conglomerate, like like Facebook or Meta. Uh, there's no telling what could happen. It's, it's really dangerous, okay? So that's one end. So the people that are actually in your eye line are, are actually exposed, but there's also an, a privacy issue when you're wearing them because at some point, someone could probably hack in and see what you've been doing all day. They could actually hack in and make phone calls on your behalf. So there's a lot of nefarious uses that you can do with these sunglasses. And I don't think that they have accounted for all of these issues when creating the sunglasses. Okay, so reason number two why I would never wear the, the Meta sunglasses. Okay, so let's take a look at this video uh, right here, Mark Zuckerberg. And he, he's demoing the sunglasses for us. And he's in he's in the parking lot and and, he, and he's he's looking for his car. And the use case here is the meta sunglasses are are there to help hey, him meta. find his car in the Remind parking lot. Come on, Mark, you must have assistance for this. Why do you need your sunglasses? And also, um, those noises and the fact that you have like a sort of a memory loss here, maybe those are the real issues here. I think you should be looking into, not necessarily the glasses. Um, but also the price point, okay? So, I mean, maybe Mark Zuckerberg can, can justify spending $370 on, on sunglasses, but I, I can't, and I, I don't think, you know. I, and I, I'll tell you why, even if I had the money, I probably wouldn't do it, because you know what, Mark? I still have the MetaQuest 2 sitting at home that I just bought like a year ago, a year and a half ago, okay? And these things are absolutely useless. Um, and so I am not buying another wearable device that you're creating, Mark Zuckerberg. Um, so, so, so that's reason number two uh, why I would never, ever, ever wear it. Because you know what? It's just, I... Okay, and reason number three. Reason number three, I think, is actually um, one of the main reasons, and you may disagree with me about this reason, why I personally would not wear the Meta sunglasses. Uh, and this is because I think this it kind of puts a layer between you and the world outside of you. Like, you are outside... All right, you're out in the world. Okay, this is a great opportunity for you to connect with nature, to hear nature sounds, with you to connect. I mean, I, I get it. You're probably wearing headphones and you're looking at your phone, but like, not me. I, I, at some point, I like to put my phone down and just experience and hear the world, hear nature, walk around, and I feel like that part of our experience as humans is being taken away by these kind of wearable devices. Um, I mean, it's really, really cool, and I think we can all benefit from like, you know, translating signs in different languages. I mean, there's a lot. There's like plenty of benefits I and mean, this is a really really cool product and I, I, I kind of want one but at the same time I, I don't want I want there to be nothing between me and nature maybe clothes just clothes between me and nature and not all these other gadgets and technology I mean it's bad enough because like smart watches and they're always looking at stuff you're never looking around okay so those are the three main reasons and I, 
Uh, I've been in AI long enough that this is actually the second time around that I've seen a really, really cool product that is just totally tone deaf and totally missed the mark because they're just not thinking it through. The first time was uh, about 10 years ago. I was working at a company called Imperson and our main competitor was a company called Polestring. And what they did was they created a talking Barbie, an AI powered talking Barbie. And what they didn't think about when they created the AI powered Barbie was that this thing was going to be put in the rooms of children and the parents expect the child to have a conversation with an AI who's being monitored by people in California or whatever, there's a ton of privacy issues that are happening there. And so once we can figure out how to safely provide AR, VR, these types of wearable experiences, when we have that safety and we have the privacy issues secure and it's 100% foolproof, sign me up because I really want those glasses. But until then, I am, I am not cool enough, I am not rich enough, and honestly, I value my fellow people enough that I don't want to infringe on their, especially when they're just out in public, infringe on, on their privacy. So this is a big no for me, Zuck. Big no. Um, but I have to say, cool, cool hair, bro. I mean, it's silly. It's silly. It's just like, I just can't imagine like Jake Elwood wearing those AR glasses. It's just weird. Anyway, then me. Cool, cool, Dio. Talk to you later.